Yeah, my name is David. And you know, personally for me, it doesn't take much for a day to become a good day. And so far, this is a great day because we're in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Before we start, I'd like to open up this moment in prayer. So if you please bow your head with me in prayer. Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your presence in our life. Lord, I'd like to leave this moment into your holy hands. Lord, I pray that you may be in control, Lord. Lord, I pray that not my words, but your words touch your people, God. Open up their hearts, Lord, to, in order to embrace your word, God. Use me as an instrument for your work. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning, I'd like to give a message to to the youth. And today's message is, I'd like to say that, first of all, the, the Word of God has many roles into our lives. It plays many parts. But the first role that it takes, it's being that of bringing lights, that being of uh, uh, answering questions or overcoming obstacles that we might face in our day-to-day -day lives. You know, uh, the, the, the Word of God helps us to, to stay away from sin, stay away from falling to sin. You know, in the book of Psalm, if you have your Bible, if you please open it, please open your Bible in the book of Psalm 119, verse 9 to 12. Again, it's Psalm, verse 119, verse 9 to 12. Another David. <laughs> Another David, amen. In the book of Psalm, the Bible says, how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. You see here, David, uh, he asks a question, then he answers in the, in, the, in the verse. He says, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? Then he says, according to your word, the word of God. That is how a young person shall stay in the, uh, in, in the path of purity, in the path on you know, his way to God. Then he says, I have kept your word in my heart so that I might not sin against you. That is what uh, God calls us to do, to keep the, his word in our hearts so that we might not sin against him, so we, we might not lose our way, so that we might be on our way <laughs> exactly to him, you know? Uh, when we look in our word, our word is uh, full of um, is full of sin and darkness. Without the word of God, we just there's no light. The word of God brings light into our lives. It opens up our eyes. It tells us that hey, this is the right way. I like to think about um, our life as um, a test or you know, some sort of um, assignment or so. And God has made it so that we have all the tools in order to pass this test. He's given us his word, which I feel like it's a, he has literally all the answers. He's telling us that when you're faced with such challenge, in my book, in the book I gave you, there's an answer to overcome each one of them so that you might not fall, so that you might not lose your way. Use my book to find your way to me. You know, we have a purpose, each one of us, the youth, including us, the people of the kingdom of God. You know, I'm sure I'm here to talk to the youth. The fact that you're still sitting here means that you consider yourself young. I'm not, I'm not gonna judge or anything, call anybody old, but. <laughs> the youth is called to sanctification. Sanctification means to be set apart for special use or purpose. That is what the youth has been called for. Every morning that we get to wake up, every morning that we get to open our eyes, it's God telling us that he still wants us to do something. We still have work to do here. I cannot open my eyes and begin to attach myself or begin to lose my way when the person that has gave me life still wants me to do something. I don't know for anybody here, but last night I don't recall going to sleep, and, but before going to sleep, paying any, a certain amount of money or good to anybody for the breath I had this morning. It is all God's grace. He gave me life. He gave me uh, that protection. 
So many people. I wasn't the only one who prayed last night for the breath I have this morning. He chose. He said, I still want you to do more. That is why I'm standing here. That is why you're standing here. He's still, he's calling us for a greater purpose. To that God, I owe everything. To that God, when he calls me, when he's telling me to serve, I had to say amen. Because he's giving me the breath I have this morning. He's giving me his love without even asking for it. You know, where the choir was singing a song saying, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. That is true. He won't give up on us. He never gives up on us. He's always coming to us. We don't have to go to God and ask him for his love because God is love. He always been. He's not a man to change. He's not a man to lie. Generation have come and gone. He stays the same God. Today I breathe. I will go. The other generation will come. He will stay the same God. He will stay loving, caring, fair. He will stay our God. He will stay your God, the God of Midway, the God of Bridge of Grace, the God of uh, the ministerial, um, the, the, the ministerial church. He stays our God. Before all, he's, our, he's calling us for sanctification. He's calling us for a greater purpose. Then the way to sanctification is the word of God. It's his word. He's telling us that my word is the truth. My word is the way. In the book of John 17, 17, he's, uh, the Bible says, sanctify them by your word, by the truth. Your word is the truth. The word of God is the truth. It's always been. We had to keep that in our hearts. When we keep the word of God in our hearts, people don't see us. They see Jesus. They're drawn to Jesus because of the way we act, because we've kept the word of God in our hearts. That is what God calls us to do. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 9, the Bible says, You who are young, be happy while you are young, and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your hearts, and whatever your eyes see, but know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. God has set a, uh, a, a, a straight road. He set a, a road telling us, okay, this is uh, the right way to go. Now, by not following my commands, by not keeping my word close to you, uh, me, uh, to your heart, you will just be falling into a trap. You'll just be falling into sin. Do whatever you want. He's given us that free will. But he said, do whatever you want, but judgment day will come. There was a day you will be faced, you will face God and be judged for what you've done in this world. There was a day you will be faced with the questions, did you do the work I called you to do? Did you do the work I, let you, I, I told you that to do? That is a question we should ask ourselves this morning. Am I doing the, word, the work that God has called me to do? You know, um, I, I, I want to say th this. God calls the youth. He's calling the youth yeah, really early. He comes to the youth really, like, really early. You know, when I mean youth, I don't mean maybe a kid that's two or three years old. I mean someone that's able to make the difference between good or bad. That's when God comes to you. He comes really early, not, old, well, not when you're old and tired like a certain Pastor Sean. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. This might be the last time I'm up here. <laughs> In the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 21, he says, The Lord smelled a pleasing aroma and said in his heart, Never again will I curse the word. Never again will I curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. That God knows our heart. He knows who we are inside. He knows what, uh, what's going to get to us. He's telling us that since childhood, we're faced with, we're faced with evil. That's when he comes into our life. That's when he steps in and he calls us to him. He calls us for sanctification. 
I like to tell the youth that look at your life and remember that God has called you for a greater purpose. God hasn't called us to stay in this world and get attached. In Psalm 119, verse um, 19, David says, I am a stranger on earth. I don't know if you check your passport, but on my passport, it says I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God. That is how it is. I am on a mission. When my, every day that I wake up, my mission isn't done. I had to keep going. Yes. I had to keep going and giving more to that God because he's giving me life. He's giving me his love. He's chose me. He, he set me apart in between millions. He showed me his presence. He shows me his love. What more can I ask to that God? He's given us everything. The, the, one, the things that we ask are the things of this word. We cannot begin to attach ourselves to this word if we want to one day go with our Lord. As God will be taking us, those who were attached to this word, those who, uh, who rather choose this word over the kingdom of heaven will get stuck. It's as if they're getting stuck as we're all going with the Lord. Why? Because on their way in, in, the, in earth, they're filled with their pockets with things of this world, with cars, money, houses. They'd rather keep those things with them instead of going with the Lord. So today, today I call to the youth, do not miss your youth. Do not miss your youth. God is calling to you. God wants you to take the time. Come, go to him. Go in prayer. Open his book where all the answers stand. Since the day was written, the, book, the Bible is still the same. It's filled with all the ways to find, yourself, to find God. To finish, I'd like to read the, uh, a verse from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 22. The Bible says, flee the, de the evil desires of the youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of pure hearts. We had to uh, flee those things. We had to flee evil. Not only the youth, but the church, all of us, we had to flee evil and seek God. That is what God calls us to do, to flee evil, to seek God, and continue our way to sanctification, being part of a greater purpose. If you'll please bow your head in prayer, I would like to close this moment. Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your presence, God. I thank you that you were with, uh, you were with me, Lord. Thank God, I thank you for this message. Lord, I pray that uh, lives are changed from this message. Lord, I pray that you may work in people's lives, that you may show them, remind them again that you love them, God, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.